Hello everyone, we are happy to present our work visually explaining variational encoders. Dramatic progress in computer vision has led to widespread adoption of the associated algorithms in real-world tasks. Applications in many such safety-critical and consumer-focusing areas demand understanding of the reasoning behind an algorithm's prediction. However, existing techniques require a classification module to guide their explainability. This leads to a natural need to explain a wider variety of neural network models and architectures, such as generative models. In this work, we propose a new technique to visually explain a VAE with gradient-based attentions without requiring any classification modules. In addition, our VAE attention is versatile, it can localize anomalies in images or improve latent space disentanglement. Given existing generative models such as VAEs and GANs, our work focuses on vanilla VAEs to generate visual explanations using intention maps. Given a latent vector Z, we consider each dimension Zi separately, compute gradients respective to encoder feature maps A, and then process them into element-wise intention maps Mi. The two examples here show that our VAE attentions give consistent explanations across latent dimensions and samples. In the following slides, we apply our VAE attentions to anomaly localization task. Traditionally, people use vanilla VAE to detect anomalies based on either latent space distributions or reconstructed output images. In our case, our model can localize anomalies where the input does not follow the standard Gaussian, and we use this difference to compute the attention maps. We show our first results on MNIST dataset when we train with DJ7, then test on a 9 as input. The expected anomaly regions are highlighted by red color, hence are represented by high responses in the attention maps shown at the bottom. Similarly, Testing results with DG2 are shown as well. One more example on MNIST dataset here shows a VAE trained with DG1, then test on 5 and 6. The second example we show is on MVTech AD dataset. For each category, we train a VAE with only flawless images. During inference time, we input images with different types of defects and the high responses in our attention maps capture the region of defect. Qualitative scores are also computed using area on the ROC curve and the best IOU. In the following slides, we show how our VAE attention can help bootstrap the VAE into learning improved latent space disentanglement. Given a standard VAE, our intuition is to visualize each latent space dimension using attention and to force them to be as separable as possible. If we can achieve this, we are able to see better separation of high response regions, which shows better disentangled representation. Given a VAE for disentanglement learning, we propose a loss term, LAD, to take two attention maps, M1 and M2, each computed with element-wise attention discussed above as input. LAD is calculated to separate the high response pixel regions in M1 and M2 as much as possible. So, the proposed LAD can be directly integrated with models for disentanglement training. Here we show results using our proposed method on the disparate dataset. On the left, the quantitative results show that using our method can achieve better disentanglement performance given the same reconstruction errors. On the right, we plot our attention maps from the top two response latent dimensions for both the baseline and our method. We show improved high response spatial separation in our attention maps illustrated in the fourth and fifth rows. In summary, in this work, we take a step to explain generating model VAE as example by computing attention maps conditioned on the latent space. We present how to localize anomalies in images using our attention maps, and we also present a new attention disentanglement loss and demonstrate improved disentanglement performance.